What is going on, everyone? So today we're going to be talking about the shooting that happened in Buffalo. Very tragic. And uh, kind of go over why I think Tucker Carlson is uh, unironically evil. Terrible person. Um, not a good person at all. And uh, I think he's pushing um, pretty much Nazi talking points. Uh, so before we go over this, uh, what he is pushing and what the shooter also believed in is the uh, great replacement theory. It's pretty much this theory that's been uh, pushed by super fringe people on the right, but has recently become mainstream because Tucker Carlson has been talking about it. And it's pretty much talking about how white people are being replaced uh, intentionally and uh, maliciously. And it's just, it's just horrible. Um, it's literally pushing for propaganda. That's pretty much um, going to make people, you know, pretty racist. If they, you know, if they believe every single white person is trying to be replaced by these Democrats, then yeah, it's going to make a lot of people racist. So just so you guys know, I wanted to do this. Just so you guys know, I'm not like lying or misrepresenting Tucker Carlson in any type of way. So uh, there's a bunch of clips from the Young Turks um, that pretty much show I'm saying this on multiple occasions. So I just kind of wanted to play that. So here we go. I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement, if you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters. Now so one reason people would go crazy is because this is like insane to actually say. Now casting ballots with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's that's what's happening, actually. Let's just say it. That's mm. true. We've never seen demographic change like this. It's roughly the equivalent of a brand new city of Chicago every year. A city populated entirely by poor people with limited education who can't speak English. And the question is, how is it good for America? Where exactly is all this criminal white supremacy, this right-wing domestic terrorism that poses, quote, the most lethal terrorist threat in the homeland? Or is it? Well, of course, it doesn't exist. In other words, you're being replaced and there's nothing you can do about it. So shut up. The great replacement theory, it's a lie, they yell. George Soros has nothing to do with that. Stop talking. They said we were espousing something called the great replacement theory, a well-known racist fantasy. The great replacement. They acknowledge that it's real and they... This is, this is wild, by the way. I don't think I've watched every single one of these. I think I saw like one and then I, I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Holy crap. He's, he is insane. Um, he, he is actually insane. I love it. This policy is called the Great Replacement, the replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries. The Great Replacement Plan is working. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just wow. Um, so, yeah, super wild. <laughs> super duper wild. My God. So, for those of you that don't know, it seems like white people are becoming less and less, but it's because primarily people are becoming more accepting and you know marrying people outside of their culture it has nothing to do with like a malicious intent type thing but the way tucker is presenting it it's it it was going to radicalize people that like, like that happened to this uh this young kid um similar rhetoric just got to him um so when it comes to if i think tucker carlson is evil um, I think he is pushing forward evil ideology that can result in things like that happened at Buffalo. Um, I also, I, I would be fine if you wanted to call him a racist or a Nazi or white uh, sup uh, supremacist or white separationist, stuff like that. Because when it comes down to it, we're not really going to know exactly what's in his mind, right? Like you can never like read someone's mind entirely, or at least not yet. Um, that being said, he has such similar goals to what like someone that is racist and all those other things I listed um, that he might as well be considered one. And which is that's pretty terrifying, honestly. He is um, the biggest news anchor, um, the biggest one. So it's actually quite terrifying. We live in this type of country uh, and we need more people uh, like Antifa, it seems like. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's horrible. It sucks. Um if your parents watch Fox News or you watch Fox News, probably stop. Um, similarly, similarly enough, like certain people that are listed um, in this person's manifesto as well. Anyone that's pushing the great replacement theory shouldn't be taken seriously. Um, anyways, that's the video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe as always, and peace out.